We finally got some news about Jacob Townsend and what's going to be happening with him with some pretty good news in my opinion with the club actually deciding to pick up Jacob Townsend. I was thinking that Gold Coast were going to be the ones to do it but it looks like Essendon will be the team that is set to pick up Jacob Townsend. Now they can do this in a variety of different ways. They could do this in the rookie draft. They could do this in um uh, the, uh, I don't know what they even call it anymore. I think it's called the supplement free agency signing or something like that. I don't really know, but it looks like from multiple reports from AFL, Fox, um, The Age, etc. He will be getting picked up by Essendon, which I think is extremely good news. A lot of Richmond fans actually angry that he was delisted. As a Richmond fan, you know, I kind of understand why he was delisted and all of this stuff. And I got I forgot what mate it was of mine, but I, I yeah I can't actually remember. But I can specifically remember them saying they actually wish Jacob Townsend got a run towards the end of the year because the one game he played was not good at all. And yeah, he thinks that he could have potentially done something pretty good towards the end of the year. To be honest, I don't really think so. I don't think he would have really fit into the team anymore with the way Richmond was structured in the way of you know Tom Lynch. Jack Revolt, the double key forward, and then you go alongside Dustin Martin, who, when he goes down there, is like another key. So you pretty much got like three key forwards running around. I know that Jacob Tans is not really a key forward, but the way he plays kind of suited a key forward in the way that he was more of a lockdown key forward, like of what Geelong tried to do with Lockie Henderson. Yeah, a couple of teams have done it, and I think Jacob Townsend would actually be a pretty decent role for Essendon to do a type of thing like this, but I'm not really too sure. He's definitely going to have to change his role. He's no longer going to have to be a lockdown key forward, I feel like. I feel like what he's going to have to do is play like a small, a smaller type of general key forward, just based on the fact that I don't really know how Joe Danaher is going to go this year. Chances are Joe Danaher might even refuse to sit out. I doubt he will. I'm pretty sure he's going to 100% play. But, for example, he could potentially get injured again. I hope it doesn't, but it could potentially happen. Jacob Townsend would definitely fit in and take that role. They, didn't, they don't really have too many other players. I mean, Mitch Brown, come on. I mean, I, I don't rate him. I don't think anyone really does. He's pretty much only getting a game because I, I feel like Essendon don't really have anyone else. I think that Essendon could pretty much roll out like the smallest forward line in the AFL. I mean, Collingwood are doing it where they don't really have a toll key forward because of Mason Cox's injury. They haven't really been exactly very, very successful with it, but I'd say they've been successful to a point where this way they've been playing. You almost think that Essendon could potentially just say stuff it and might even roll out something like this and pretty much tell, you know, Jake Stringer, hey man, this is your year. You've gotten to the age where you're going to have to enter your prime. This is your chance to really be that all-Australian caliber forward that, like you were with the 2016 Bulldogs. He could potentially try and do something like that. Yes, he's got have the height of a key forward. But again, I feel like something that Essendon could potentially try and roll out. We could be seeing like a Jake Stringer and Jacob Townsend type of double small key forward lineup and then yeah I'm pretty sure they would try and include Mitch Brown here and there somewhere but I, I don't really think Jacob Townsend slots into their 22 straight away but the fact that Essendon didn't really get anyone in free agency besides I think that yeah they got Tom Cutler who in my opinion was is the most underrated signing because Tom Cutler was an absolute jet before he got injured at the Brisbane line so very good on them for that signing but I don't really think they have exactly too much of a different team. I mean, Danaher will most likely come back in. I don't really know if that is 100% due to injuries and all that stuff. Mitch Brown, again, I don't really know. McKernan might fall out a little bit. The lineup's going to be all over the place. They've obviously done this system where they've been trying to get former Richmond players and staff to their team. I mean, I think it was 2016 when they hired um, Richmond's list manager, who li Richmond actually fired. They hired him, then at the end of 2018, they decided to hire um, Truck. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name, but they decided to hire him and make him their next assistant, um, their, you know, assistant coach and make him their next coach in the AFL after 2020. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name, but that's going to extremely annoy me. I'm actually just going to search it up right now, but 
yeah, and then they decided to hire at the end of 2019 Blake Carousella. So, yeah, that's, you know, and then Jacob Townsend they'll be getting for the 2020 season. That's four Richmond staff and players in like four years. So that's pretty insane that they've gone with this massive approach to try and kind of take Richmond's stuff. <laughs> like, it, it's pretty interesting. But, yeah, I'm sure they'll probably continue it in eventually. And, yeah, they, they decided to get... It was Ben Rutten who they hired. So, yeah, that's his name. But, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting that they're doing this strategy of getting a bunch of Richmond players and stuff to their team. I think that, you know, they've had all these players and they've had all these staff and all this stuff, but their team hasn't really changed too much, but this year, I reckon it's going to be a massive step, like, they're getting Blake Carousel, and the reason why he's leaving Richmond is because he wants to be the number one assistant on a team, while at Richmond, he's number two behind Justin Lepich, he will join Essendon right now, he will change completely everything up, because he will be their new ball movement coach, and what was he was able to do at Richmond was absolutely insane, and yeah, now that he joins Essendon, he's probably going to completely change their ball movement, how that's run, and they're most likely going to be a completely different team. And then at the end of the 2020, when obviously Ben Rutten takes over, or, uh, yeah, or Ben Rutten, sorry, when Ben Rutten takes over, and you got Blake Carousel as the assistant, it will pretty much be the 2017-2018 Richmond Tigers all over again, just minus Hardwick and Lepage. So, that's pretty interesting and pretty funny to think about. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how it's going to go this year. But Jacob Townsend, I think, will be a pretty decent signing. Again, I don't think he's going to be in the 22 straight away. I think he might work himself into the 22. And I just hope he plays his role because a lot of people love him. He's a very popular player, especially with Richmond fans. And obviously, especially considering Dermot Burton even said once, I think, that he's probably the hardest player in the AFL when it comes to contests and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think Essendon got themselves a pretty decent pickup here. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on Essendon signing Jacob Tans? And do you guys think it was a good idea? Do you guys think it was a bad idea? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash vlogging channel. Links for them are in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.